This video is specifically for anyone who has tried coding and it's been challenging, or maybe you didn't like it, and you're thinking about quitting. My goal is not to convince you to stick with coding, but rather to share some perspective from 10 years of coding myself after a few false starts, and to help you figure out if you're better off sticking with it or quitting. There's three main things that I want to touch on in this video, and based off my own experiences and watching other people learn how to code, there's a good chance that at least one of these will resonate strongly with you, if not all three. The first thing that I want to talk about is what I typically refer to as the hump. The concept itself is incredibly simple, and it applies to a lot of other domains as well, but I still find that it's the most important idea that I like to share with anyone who's new to coding. Getting started with coding has a steep learning curve. If you've never done it before, there's a lot that you need to learn to get to a point where you feel proficient, or at the very least to the point where it no longer feels painful. In this phase, you don't understand how code fits together, or you're really struggling with the syntax, or debugging simple mistakes takes forever. Basically, every time you walk away from a coding session, you feel really frustrated because things just aren't clicking. The first few times that I tried learning how to code, I did not get over the hump. I would dabble in coding for a few weeks, and then my interest would fizzle out when I realized just how far of a gap there was between what I wanted to be doing, which was building and selling an iOS app, and where I was currently at which was struggling with if statements and for loops. Just like in real life, getting over the hump is essentially a combination of time and effort. You can't get over the hump immediately, but with a lot of dedicated effort, you can get over it a lot faster. Simultaneously, you can work for a really long time and just put in the bare minimum amount of effort, and it's gonna take forever because you're not doing enough to move the needle to get you over that hump. It probably took me about two months of coding more or less every day to get over that hump to get to a point where coding no longer felt frustrating and I was able to code a lot faster. But if you're just doing a little coding here and there and you don't commit to making a habit of it until you really get the basics down, you might feel stuck in this phase for a really long time. The second thing that I wanna talk about is the difficulty of writing code itself. Learning the syntax for ints, chars, strings, ifs, switches, for loops, while loops, there's a very specific syntax that you need to use for any given language, and especially for some languages, this can be incredibly overwhelming. The side effect of this complexity is that learning how to code puts a lot more emphasis on learning how to write code, and a lot less emphasis on the thing that I think is a lot more important when it comes to figuring out if you want to be a programmer, which is learning how to break down and solve problems. Think of it this way. If I give you a coding challenge problem and I asked you to explain to me how you would solve it in plain English, would you be able to do that? To me, this is a much bigger piece to the puzzle than the part that most programmers are getting hung up on, which is learning how to type the code to make that solution run. Yes, it takes time to learn coding syntax, and at least for the foreseeable future, knowing how to write code is going to be important. But to be able to logically break down problems and to reason through them in the first place is the much more valuable skill it's the trait that's harder to learn. Given a month or two of dedicated effort, learning the basics of writing code in a language is attainable for most people, but this is the piece that makes so many people quit compared to the bigger problem of learning how to think like a developer, which I'd argue you cannot pick up in a month or two. So if you're still in the phase of being frustrated by semicolons, brackets, braces, and when to use two equal signs instead of one, worry less about that and think more about whether you can break down problems and whether or not you enjoy that. The last piece that I want to talk about is the personal bias that you carry about what you think it means to be a developer. Most people who are approaching computer science for the first time naturally don't know that much about it, but you also likely have some preconceived ideas from what you've seen in the media or things that you've heard from friends, and that gives you a specific lens that you're looking at being a developer through that's not representative of the whole. For some people, coding might make you think of something low level, like assembly, that's complicated, it has a really steep learning curve, and it's easy to mess up. But for other people, maybe you think of building a website or the apps on your phone, or things where you're not even really thinking about the coding aspect of it, and you're more so thinking about the user interface that you interact with every time you press a button on the screen. The lens that you approach coding through can make a huge difference. Maybe for that first person, coding seems really hardcore and intimidating and super hard to get into, but in reality, that's just one really small piece of being a developer, and there are a lot of professional developers who couldn't do that either. Other people might look at mobile or web development and think that they're just not good enough with design to do something like that without realizing all of the code in the back end that makes the site work that has absolutely nothing to do with the user interface that people see that's generally handled by dedicated designers. All of this to say, 
Just because you don't like one kind of development doesn't mean the whole field isn't for you. I've made this mistake when trying to help other people learn how to code, advising that they jump straight in with C++ because that's how I did it, when maybe C++ wasn't really a good fit for them, and learning how to build user interfaces in something like JavaScript was a much better fit for them. Before writing off the whole field and saying that it's not for you, Explore the different aspects of it because you might not realize that there's other parts of being a developer that you didn't even know existed that you might really enjoy. Like I said at the beginning, this video is not to convince you to stick with coding. If after watching this video, you never want to type another line of code in your life, that's fine by me. But hopefully this provides some perspective to help you figure out if it's worth sticking with it or if it's just really not your thing. Anyways, that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.